hanging out in Oswego on a Monday. Uh, you guys are getting this on Tuesday. Remember last week we visited with Joe Garofalo. Of course, if you're a race fan, you know him from Brewer and Speedway. He's been running mod lights there for quite some time. Actually won a race this past yep, year, too. Yep. So go back to the last one. He'll talk about his plans. But this one, we wanted to talk about the business aspect of Super Dirt Week because he is a business owner. His family has been in business here. How long, Joe? 1962. Okay, so uh, 50 years, exactly. Yep. Hey, that worked out. 50 yeah, years and 60. 50 years. for 60, 60 and 50. Yeah, so that's awesome, man. So what effect did you see? Let's start with business location here because they also had a truck, a, a food truck at right. the fairgrounds. What did you notice? Here, there's more people. Every year, more and more people get away from the compound and get out into the city, you know, and they, they, they find more stuff about our city as they, each year. So it gets busier and busier with guys and gals from the campsites coming down to get foods or meat, subs, you know, beer, anything they look for. They're starting to find out where they like to go now when they're here each year. So the first year that wasn't like that, you told me, the, though, was The first it? year was kind of uh, nobody left there at all. Yeah. It was very they slow. They came prepared. They brought everything they right, needed, right? right? And they might have looked around town, but they didn't do a lot of shopping. Mm -hmm. So are they moving further and further out from 104, getting closer to the college, you I think? think so. I, I know Saturday morning I was out and about on the west side, downtown a little bit, and uh, there was a lot of people there from the track that I could tell. And uh, it, was, it was rainy, so it was really not much to do. So there were... They were all over, and the city was pretty busy. They were all over the place. Where were they? Restaurants, stores, the whole thing? Yeah, you know, like the, you, the the bagel shop downtown there in the, the River End the bagel shop or River's Edge, whatever it's called. There was a lot of people there. All your places downtown, there was a lot of people at. And there's a restaurant right across the street from you. Wade's, yep, Wade's is always packed. And just like last year? Yeah. Or was it maybe even more? Hard to tell because they're, okay. they're just always full, always busy, so it's hard to tell if they're more busy than not. And that's true, because that, if you're if you're in a hurry, like most people are at Super Dirt, you can see a full parking lot, well, you might just go down the road, right? Yep. you so, just go out, try next one, basically. Okay. Now, they also had a food truck. Uh, first of all, before we get to the food truck, I was just over there, at, at, this is what, what time is it now, maybe four? Yeah, four Something or five. Something like that. I can't believe they got everything picked up so fast. Yeah, it's crazy how fast it empties out. They will start, last night they started, so campers will be leaving. And then usually I go out around noon to pack up our stuff, and it's almost gone it really by noon yeah it was, yeah a lot of it's the trash bagged up and everything they start bagged? that last night they start right after the event's done they start taking all the trash out and picking everything up and then once everybody leaves they'll do a sweep through and, and clean it all up like it was never there yeah because i was ready to see something like a the k rockathon right. afterwards where it's just totally trashed right and it wasn't that way at all how did the food truck do we did pretty good you know we do we got a good spot back there so they catch us going in um we always do fairly well. I, I think we've got a good name in the city of Oswego, and then also through racing, you know, from my aspect and, and people that I've known for a long time, they come and, and racers support racers, so that's mm -hmm. plain and simple. Yeah, because I was thinking here, yeah, you they know you, but for that food truck, for a lot of people coming in, if they go there the first day and they don't like what they get, right. they're going somewhere else. Exactly. Like when I went there on Sunday, you guys had a pretty good line. Was it pretty steady the whole? It stays pretty steady. Sunday's the big day. You know, everybody's there. Uh, the other days leading up to it are, are hit or miss sometimes. But uh, your Saturday and Sunday's usually your big day. Mm -hmm. Saturday was a little weird because of the rain and everything yeah. got drawn yeah, way we got out. Delayed and yeah, delayed everything. So, yeah. so that was just, it wasn't the same. Friday was the same way really too with the rain coming in in yes. the evening. And, and it was cold. It was cold and rainy Friday night. Yeah, and there's cold like in Liverpool. But then there's Oswego cold. Yeah, this is different. We get uh, we get the lake effect stuff, so it, you get, it's always windy. Yeah, and bring and for those of you who didn't bring your winter jackets, maybe it was your first time. Right, you learned a lesson. Yeah, I think, uh, this is this is hoodie weather for us. Yeah, but not not, at, not normal people. Not the, at, the Oswego people. This is just a oh hoodie. really? This, yeah, that's right. Because he's in short sleeves. I've got a flannel shirt on. So yeah, I guess we don't that, care as much. You yeah. get acclimated. We, we're, we're, you're right. You got to go as long as you can. Okay, I'm still cold from the weekend, I'll be honest with you. So, <laughs> I don't uh, turn the heat on until at least November. Yeah, I haven't done that yeah, either. No, no. I just pile up on the blankets and, yeah, and make it right. work. So any idea how many people you served? I, I don't really, we don't keep track. And you know, can't, it's too yeah. hard because we're just always fast and furious getting in and yeah. out. Well, you hard to, to figure. Know how much you brought. And how we, know, much you brought. Yep, we know what we, we go through. We have that pretty well documented, what we do. That way, next year we know what to, what to go after. It changes year to year. There's always mm -hmm. something different. You know, each year something's better than the other years. Right. And it's always hard to, to, to know what somebody's going to get. Well, was it better than last year or about the same as last about year? About the same. About the same. Yeah. So you're steady and you, so that's good from your standpoint because yeah. now you know what's going to sell. Right. The only thing is it, it was different though. It, same, the do dollar amount was the same, but the stuff was different. How so? 
Um, each year, like I said, like, a lot of times we sell sausage is always a good seller. Hamburgers have been always real good here, and they weren't this year. French fries were just a dominant thing this year. Really? So it's always it's just weird. It's it's everybody's tendency, and it's going for the year so far. All the events we've done, it has shifted away from that and gone to more fried food. I forgot to get my steak sandwich. Now that I think about that too, so <laughs> I'll get one here today. So so in closing, any thoughts? I mean, I, I, again, it's on just how always big this all is. It's always great to have that many people. You know, we were discussing, we don't have 15, 20,000 people sitting up there probably. Yeah. To have them in this city, that's more than the population of this city. Is it really? Yeah. What is the population? I think like 15 or 16. So we double the population yeah. for Just seven in, days. Yeah. <laughs> right. So that's why it's busy if you go anywhere for this week, and it's it's always a little busier. And yeah. the city of Oswego always, they tend to do stuff when it's busy as well. It gets the people that live here going, even if they have nothing to do with the race. Yeah. They just see the extra bodies and gets them moving for the week as well. Bigger than Harbor Fest or about the same or a little less? About the, a little just less, the, just different, Okay, I'd say. Probably a, a more probably more of a crowd that would go to the restaurants and stuff. Or is it the other way around, do you think? Yeah. Or it's, do they go to the stores more? These people will go to the stores more. They go to the stores yeah. more, okay. I think your restaurants and stuff benefit more from Harbor Fest because everybody's right in the area there uh -huh. and everything's packed. And, and, you know, you have food all over the place at Harbor Fest, but you still, they're in town. They're, they're still going to not eat each day True. at a food trailer. The one thing I was surprised about, I had to go to the, one of the stores down there in between. I was surprised how loud it is here in town. You hear that. Depends on which way the wind's blowing, yeah. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for your help, man. I get, I had sausage patties were the thing I kept going back there for. They were so good. So good to see you again, Joe. Right, and we'll get so. together sometime when the season gets closer, and we'll talk about the two-car team that we're going to yep. have next year. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thanks again, man.